<sighs> well, it sounds like someone's done with studying. Come here. <laughs> Hang out with me for a while and relax. <laughs> well, all that studying wore you really wore you out, huh? <laughs> well, look if it helps. Uh, it's gonna pay off in the long run, you know. Maybe exhausting and frustrating and a pain in the ass for now, but it'll be worth it. Yeah, I promise. I mean, I promise, but only so long as spoken contracts aren't legally binding in court of law. <laughs> Come on, dude. You know, I'm just joking. You're working really hard and it's gonna pay off someday. Then you'll be able to get a good job and buy me a really nice and big mansion for being such a cool roommate. <laughs> Alright, alright, jokes aside, someday you're going to be happy and happy you worked as hard as you are now. Even if it is frustrating, but for tonight, you are dealing with all of that and you don't have to look at it again. Just put it all out of your head and watch this movie with me. I honestly don't know. Someday you're going to be happy and that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What I also don't know is that, like, the movie kind of just turned it on and started playing games on my phone because I have no attention span whatsoever. <laughs> hey, don't blame me, okay? You know I get done after you're studying. Yeah, you know how I get. My brain just doesn't even want to work anymore. And so I reward it with entertainment from silly little glowy screens. You do the same thing. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just watch the movie with me. Or just sit with me and pretend to watch it. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> sure, do whatever you gotta do. You better come back and hang out with me. Don't need you trying to do any more studying tonight, you workaholic. <laughs> hey, while you're up, would you mind grabbing me the ice cream from out of the freezer? I grabbed you some too if you want. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I thought you might want something sweet to reward yourself with. Toss them over here, yeah? <laughs> oh, is that a blanket? Are you cold? <laughs> yeah, your desk in that absolutely freezing corner of the room. I get your cold. No wonder you always look so miserable after finishing your homework. <laughs> You know, if you'd have just told me you were cold, I'd have given you my hoodie. You didn't have to go back to grab your blanket. Ah, I'm planning to fall asleep out here then. Uh, not judging, I promise. I was actually going to do the same thing. If you don't mind the company. I mean, yeah, the couch is pretty small, but we can always cuddle. If, if you want, that'd probably help you warm up, too. No, 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 I'd be fine with it. I mean, we've cuddled a few times, and so I don't think it's too weird. <laughs> yeah, sure. Move a bit closer, yeah, you can lay your, my head on your shoulder. <laughs> your face feels even colder. Just a little icicle at this point. <laughs> You're gonna freeze if you try to eat any of that ice cream. <laughs> But pull that blanket up here and wrap it around us. Let's get you all warmed up. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that better? Now let's eat some ice cream and watch this movie, yeah? <laughs> mm. 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 Hey, you're shaking. You sure you're not still cold? You know, if you... Want to still borrow my hoodie? Your offer's still on the table. <laughs> Come on. You know, I wouldn't mind. I think we've both accidentally switched hoodies more than times we can count, so it's never bothered me. If I'm gonna borrow my hoodie, I'm totally fine with it. Yes, I promise it's all good. <laughs> yeah, here. Let me take it off real quick. You mind sitting up for a second? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Here. 
How's that? Feel any warmer? <laughs> Good. I'm glad I'd hate for you to miss out on your ice cream just because you were too cold to handle it. That would have left me to finish all of it. That would be a very, very hard task for me. I would have gladly endured it for you, though. My chilly little icicle friend. <laughs> me? Selfish? Nonsense. Come on. I'm doing you a favor by getting rid of some of that coldness from you, if anything. That would be a burden to eat that much ice cream. Yeah, well, <laughs> you look like you're going to fall asleep face first in your ice cream anyway. Don't you just, don't, just, just give it to me. <laughs> Don't have to worry about it. Come on, give me your ice cream. You know you want to. <laughs> Ugh, fine, keep your ice cream. Guess I'll just have to settle for eating my own and watching this very terrible movie. <laughs> oh, it's already over. <laughs> I guess we missed the entire thing. <laughs> no, there's a few moments that I kind of enjoyed. Okay, but hey, toss me the remote. Alright, I'll turn on something else we can actually watch. Well, up to you. Choose whatever you want. Yeah, that sounds good. Let me just turn it on. Hold on. Uh, there it is. There we are now. Why don't we just... Uh, oh. Oh my god. Are you actually asleep? You still have the spoon in your mouth, too. Oh. Hey, hey. Sleepyhead. Wake up for me. Hey. You awake now? Hi. Yeah, you really fell asleep. I told you that you looked tired. No, 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 I'm not making fun of you. Not right now, anyway. I'm just saying that if you're tired, you should go to bed. No point forcing yourself to stay awake just for my sake. We can spend some more time together tomorrow. For now, just get some sleep, alright? No, it's fine. You can still sleep out here. Just move around a little bit. I'll, it'll be more comfortable. <laughs> First, let me go put the ice cream back, right? We don't need them melting all over the place while we sleep. <laughs> no need to complain. I'll be right back. I promise. And you can go back to using me as a big, snuggly pillow. Just be patient. Less than a minute, alright? <laughs> Hey, you drifting off again? Gosh, you really wore yourself out with all that studying. <laughs> okay, how do you want to do this? What's going to be more comfortable for you? Too tired to think, huh? Let's try this. I'm going to put a pillow over on this end of the couch. Sit over here. Why don't you sit between my legs and lean against my chest? That way you can use me as a pillow and we'll both be comfortable. I think it'd be comfortable. And honestly, it might be the only way that we'll both be able to fit on this couch. <laughs> yeah, I won't really be laying down exactly, but I don't mind. I don't plan on sleeping too much anyway. I'm not tired yet. I'm just gonna watch some TV for a little bit. <laughs> Come here. Bring the blanket so it's getting kind of cold. See? Comfortable, right? <laughs> yeah, I've been told that I am pretty comfy. Some even say that I'm the comfiest pillow they've ever had. <laughs> oh, is someone jealous? Don't worry. I'm your pillow. First and foremost. <laughs> Come on, you love, you love my jokes. That's why, I li that's why you lived me for this long. And that's why my incredible cuddle abilities and the fact that I buy you food and my amazing puns and my insanely good looks. My smoking hot body. <laughs> God, I'm just a whole package, aren't I? Absolutely hobby material. 
<laughs> hey, you know I'm like a 10 out of 10. Come on. Marriage status for sure. Oh, you're so rude to me. And here I am being incredibly nice and cute and letting you sleep on me. So, so rude. <laughs> well, at least admit that I'm a good cuddler. You gotta give me that. <laughs> no, I count that as a win. Now, hurry up and go to bed because apparently you get super snarky when you're tired. Alright, how could I forget? You're always super snarky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just shut up and go to bed. Hey. Okay. Go to bed before I decide that I don't want to cuddle with you anymore. See? Look at that. You're yawning. All that sass must, must be making you so tired. <laughs> you're just lucky that you're cute when you yawn. Hmm? Nothing, nothing. Besides that, you need sleep, that is. Shh, go to bed. You're, you, you're, you grumpy little icicle, you need to rest up. Nope, come on. Head on my shoulder. So you can drift off in dreamland. See? It's better, isn't it? It's comfy. <laughs> you already have to wrap my arms around you? That way you don't, you know, you don't fall off the couch while you're asleep. Sweet. Now just lift your arms up a little bit. There. Perfect. Yeah? You comfortable? You're kind of mumbling. Is that a yes? <laughs> I have to take that as a yes since you're snuggling into my neck at this point. Oh, I'm too tired to respond. I guess I'm getting really, uh, being really sassy did wear you out, huh? <laughs> Sleep well, sleepyhead. <laughs> hey, you, um, asleep yet? <laughs> Damn, you really were tired. I'm getting kind of sad, you know? I really wanted to hang out with you tonight. Then again, this is pretty nice too. Cuddling with you is something that I'll never get tired of. Especially when you're all relaxed like this. Just leaning into me and letting me hold you close. Feeling how warm and relaxed you are makes me... Feeling your chest rise. Falling as your breathing evens out. I can't even tell you how happy it makes me. You know, I thought that you would have figured out that I would have a huge crush on you by now, but I'm not exactly the best at hiding my feelings. And I know that I have a tendency to kind of flirt with you. I thought it was inevitable, but you put two and two together. Then I realized that, or you'd realize that I'm a bit over my head. I'm a bit over my head over heels for you. Kind of have been since we started rooming together. I'm just really hanging out with you, to be honest. Always makes my day. I love talking to you. I love being your friend. I really do. I still want to be more than just friends, you know. Do all that romantic stuff and make you feel loved and happy. And I don't know. I just want you to feel everything good. <gasps> Especially when you think about me. <laughs> Might be kind of selfish, but I mean... That's the kind of part of having a crush, right? Jealousy when you call someone else cute or always trying to get your attention, trying everything. All that kind of stuff. Like there's a selfless parts to it too though. Like I guess I just feel like being selfish because I don't want to distract you from parts of it too. Your work, your school, I don't want to distract you. And even if you do date someone, I don't want to make you feel guilty or awkward that I, your roommate, want to date you. I don't want to make you feel guilty or anything. And I feel like, well, you're so sweet and such a good friend that if I did tell you that I had a crush on you, 
you'd feel weird and wouldn't want to hurt my feelings because that would be selfish of me, wouldn't it? Making you deal with my feelings. No. On the other hand, there's times where I feel like that. You might have feelings for me too. I don't know. It just seems like you look look at me a lot sometimes and you do a ton of the same stuff that I do for you. Getting snacks, lending me your jacket, wearing your favorite shows, watching them. <laughs> when you hate them. <laughs> sometimes you even flirt with me too. It's all the stuff that you wouldn't really do. It just feel like normal friend stuff. I mean, I think I'm right. I don't know anymore. Why is all this so hard? One second, I I think I know you, we are, what our relationship is. The next thing, I have no idea. I just wish I knew how to ask you about it without making it weird between us. I'm just scared of losing you. You know, maybe someday I'll finally have the nerve to tell you. <laughs> or if I'm lucky, you might even, you might even tell me. <laughs> A man can dream. But I guess for now, um, I'll just enjoy this, whatever we have. Because honestly, I could spend the rest of my life like this and still be happy. As long as I have you, I'd be happy. It'd just be nice to be able to kiss you too. It'd be really nice. Really. Really nice. <laughs> but at least for now, I get to hold you like this and I get to have you close to me. Sleeping against me, I can feel your heart beat against my chest. And that alone is one of the greatest gifts I could ever ask for right now. It's perfect. Whatever we have, it's perfect. Hey guys, Siri here. Um, if you guys didn't know this audio, you can let me know. Anyway, you think it's fine. <laughs> um, hope you guys had a good New Year's and a Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, um, hope you guys have a good one tonight. Have a good night tonight when you go to sleep. And as always, bye bye.